In a very significant development, India and the United States have started discussions to collaborate on the advancement of cutting-edge next-generation technologies, including the development of long-range hypersonic attack cruise missile, that would possess the capability to be air-launched from India's P-8 Maritime Patrol aircraft and also Indian origin fighter jets, that will enable them to target heavily defended carrier battle groups and enemy bases. It is to be noted, that the US Air Force and US Navy had recently terminated the AGM-183 hypersonic air-launched rapid response weapon, after encountering persistent issues during the prototyping phase, while India is developing a 2,000 km range indigenous long-range hypersonic cruise missile under Project Vishnu. Prime Minister Modi and US President Joe Biden will make a significant announcement of F-414 engine deal on 23 June in Washington DC, and officials have said that this agreement will involve higher levels of technology transfer, distinguishing it from any similar arrangement the United States has with other allies. Approximately 600 Indian micro small and medium enterprises will be part of F-414 engine supply chain, and initially, the engine division of Hindustan Aeronautics in Bangalore will produce the 98 kN F-414 INS-6 engines with 60% indigenous content, which will gradually increase over 75% in the next 10 years. The engine can be further developed into a high-thrust variant generating 130 kN of thrust, which would be suitable for AMCA Mark II fighter jets. The F-414 INS-6 supply chain would also be better positioned to handle the production of the 130 kN higher-thrust engine. During a recent meeting between Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and his US counterpart, the United States has offered to jointly develop striker armored fighting vehicles, and this offer comes as the Indian Army requires armored infantry combat vehicles for swift troop movement along the line of actual control. The US administration is ready to clear the transfer of technology of the striker to India, which will allow India to manufacture it locally, and also incorporate some of the striker technology into indigenous programs. The striker can be used as a personnel carrier, as a 105mm mounted gun system version, 120mm mortar platform or an infantry fighting vehicle. The German defense minister discussed the local production of six conventional submarines on the Project 75i worth $5.2 billion with his Indian counterpart yesterday, and as per latest reports, Germany has agreed for integration of Indian weapons like Brahmo's missile on board six Dolphin-class submarines offered to India. While South Korean firm Duwoo shipbuilding is also in the race, but Germany's disencrypt marine systems which has a tie-up with Mazagin dock shipbuilders is the front-runner, and the shipyard will place a bid by August 2023 for the project. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh also pitched the German side to invest in the two defence industrial corridors, and that the Indian defence industry could participate in the supply chains of the German defence industry and add value to the ecosystem.